How Paris Conquered Baku Picture this. You are Sergio Paris, holding that infamous Red Bull seat. You qualify P6 in Baku, where your main rivals in the other team have been struggling all weekend. Your tasks? Finish the race. Try to better your position. Try to split the Mercedes drivers. Create problems for Lewis if you can. Bring in some points for the constructors. Let's be honest here. Sergio Perez is clearly the number two driver in Red Bull. His role in the team is to clearly bring in points for constructors and create problems for the championship contenders in other teams. When the lights went off in Baku and the battle for the lead was taking place in the initial laps, Checo was gaining places. Lewis overtook Charles on lap 3 and Max overtook Charles on lap 7 for P2. Checo pitted a lap after Max and undercut Lewis. A couple of things happened here. Lewis had a slow pit stop with Gasly blocking the pit road at the time of the release. Lewis's pit stop read 4.9 seconds. Max on the other hand had a perfect pit stop at 1.9 seconds mark. Perez who pitted a lap later had a slow stop as well. But crucially he came out ahead of Lewis and Lewis never managed to overtake Perez after that. At 20-yard lap mark, we heard the Hamilton say to his engineer, they are so much faster than us. A few laps later, he said, their grip in second sector is unbelievable. I don't think I can overtake with my tires. This followed two safety cars, the one when Stroll crashed due to puncture and the second when Max crashed out due to puncture as well. Now this was different. Max was leading the race until then. Perez has been acting as a barrier between Max and Lewis, but suddenly Perez is upgraded to P1. Now, Perez has always been a Baku specialist. And there is one more thing he is famous for, managing tires. While Max was pushing for fastest lap after fastest lap, putting the durability of his tires at risk, Perez was managing his tires beautifully. With three laps to go, the session was paused due to red flag. Perez in P1, his race brief had changed. He now needs to defend P1 and to bring in 25 points for the constructors. Lewis, on the other hand, had spoken on the radio that this is a marathon and not a sprint. This is to say, the team should be happy with P2. But still, he pushed for overtake at turn 1. Perez did not have that great a start. But when he saw Lewis is about to overtake him, he tried to defend the place by moving to left. Lewis tried to evade this and accidentally switched off the rear brakes. This meant he could not break at turn 1 and then went wide onto outside the track. And Paris finished it off in style. A chain of events in a specific order ensured that Paris won and gave us a very unique race to it. Had Gasly didn't come to pits blocking Lewis' release, had the tyres didn't fail Max, had Perez not defended his position so aggressively at the restart, we would have had a different result altogether. At the end of the day, it was heartbreak for Mercedes, and it was sad to see Max crash out. But when the champions mess up their races, that's when we get to watch something truly 